This is a story of three pairs of stockings. The first was black nylon and sheer. I was in my late teens and found myself in an unusual situation alone at home for the day. My parents had gone out for some errands, leaving me with an unexpected sense of freedom. With the whole house to myself, I could feel a subtle curiosity creeping into my thoughts. As I wandered around the rooms, bored but with a strange tingle in my belly, I knew I was looking for something specific. I just wasn't sure what it was. A partially open closet door caught my attention. I couldn't resist taking a peek inside, and what greeted my eyes was a collection of colors and textures that seemed to hold secrets of elegance and femininity. Among the array of fabrics, a pair of my mother's stockings lay folded neatly, their delicate shimmer beckoning to me like a hidden treasure. I hesitated for a moment, my mind racing with conflicting thoughts. Should I even consider trying them on? It wasn't about disrespecting my mother's privacy or anything like that. It was more about curiosity, the simple desire to understand what it felt like, to experience something different from my usual jeans and t-shirts. Something just a little more feminine. I reached out and picked up the stockings, feeling the softness of the nylon against my fingertips. The idea of trying them on began to take shape in my mind, and with it emerged another thought, one that both excited and unnerved me. If I were to truly experience the sensation of these stockings against my skin, I'd need to shave my legs. I needed to be smooth and bare and soft. The thought of it was both thrilling and slightly daunting. Undeterred, I decided to take the plunge. I located a razor and some shaving cream, my heart thudding in anticipation. Sitting on the edge of the bathtub, I carefully lathered my legs and began the process of shaving. The razor glided over my skin, and with each pass, I could feel the weight of my decision sink in. The sensation was foreign yet oddly liberating, as if I were shedding a layer of my usual self. Once the deed was done, I rinsed my legs and patted them dry. The mirror reflected a version of me that I wasn't accustomed to, bare legs that felt strangely vulnerable. They were also shapely and elegant. With a mix of excitement and nervousness, I unfurled the sheer black stockings and began to ease them onto my freshly shaven legs. The stockings embraced my skin like a whisper of elegance, their sheer fabric cool against my flesh. As I slowly pulled them up, I watched as they transformed my legs into those of a beautiful woman, sexy and attractive. I felt my heart was about to burst with happiness and excitement. The delicate material clung to my curves, a sensation that was simultaneously intimate and empowering. Standing up tentatively, I marveled at the mirror's reflection. The stockings added a layer of allure that was beyond anything I had imagined. I took a few cautious steps, feeling the sheer fabric shift and move with every motion. It was then that I heard the sound behind me. Mom. I cried out. The next pair of stockings was sheer and white. With pink and white lace trim and a delicate pink bow. I was in my early twenties and living with my girlfriend of a few months. I found myself alone in my apartment, the weight of an unopened gift resting heavily on my mind. The wrapped box, adorned with a delicate bow, sat on the edge of my bed. Inside was the pair of sheer white lace stockings, a gift I had excitedly purchased for my girlfriend, only to have her dismiss them with a disappointed smile. As I gazed at the package, a surge of conflicting emotions washed over me. On one hand, there was a lingering sense of dejection, a feeling that my effort had missed the mark. On the other, an inexplicable curiosity tugged at me, urging me to explore this unfamiliar world of delicate lingerie that had evoked such a reaction from her. Well, it felt like an unfamiliar world, but was it really? I felt the same tug on my heart that the stockings from years ago had on me. I knew I needed to try them on. With a deep breath, I decided to indulge my curiosity. Slowly, 
I peeled away the layers of wrapping paper until the box was open before me. There it was done, I thought. Now she will know I opened the gift for her. Inside, the stockings lay nestled, an intricate web of lace and fabric. The soft glow of the room's lighting caught the delicate threads, the lace seemed to beckon me, whispering secrets of a world I had never dared to explore. I hesitated, my fingers hovering over the stockings, before I made up my mind. This would be a betrayal of my girlfriend, but not a betrayal of my heart's true yearnings. The first step, it seemed, was to prepare myself. I picked up the box and carried it to the bathroom, setting it on the counter next to the sink. I lathered up my legs as I had done all those years before, the cool cream gliding over my skin. The scent of the shaving foam filled the air, and I couldn't help but feel a tingling mix of self-consciousness and determination. As the razor met my skin, a sense of vulnerability washed over me. The scrape of the blade against my leg was a foreign sensation, and I moved with slow, deliberate strokes, watching as the hair fell away, revealing the smooth canvas beneath. It was a strangely intimate act, one that felt like shedding a layer of my identity. I sighed finally, my legs now bare and unrecognizable. The reflection that stared back at me was both familiar and altered, as if I were looking at a different version of myself. A feminine version that was hiding there under all the layers. Sitting on the edge of the bed, I extended one leg and delicately slipped my foot into the stocking. The sensation was unlike anything I had experienced before, a gentle embrace that clung to my skin, the lace a whisper against my newly shaved legs. With careful, deliberate movements, I worked the stocking up my leg, the lace expanding and contracting as it accommodated the shape of my calf. A sense of vulnerability enveloped me as I repeated the process with the other leg. I stood up tentatively, feeling the stocking stretch and settle against my skin. The coolness of the lace sent a shiver down my spine. How I loved this moment. How had I deprived myself of this all my life? I felt a rush of confidence and power and suddenly I knew what I needed to do. I picked up my phone and crushed any thoughts to the contrary. I snapped a picture of myself in the stockings. Then with my heart thudding in my chest, I sent the photo to my girlfriend. I followed that up with a message. I need to break up with you. The last pair of stockings was the only one of the three I purchased for myself, and they had a beautiful intricate flower pattern in white lace. I was almost 30 and had come out to my parents and loved ones a few years ago. I was no longer dating women but men. The man who I had spent the last year of my life with did not know about the stockings. Until tonight. I eased into the warm embrace of the bathwater, a sense of tranquility washing over me, soothing away the nervousness I felt about what I was about to do. The room was dimly lit, the flickering candles casting dancing shadows across the tiles. Steam wafted upwards, enveloping me in its comforting cocoon. The gentle sound of water droplets falling from the tap added to the soothing ambience, and I closed my eyes, allowing myself to simply exist in the moment. With a sense of determination, I reached for the razor and shaving cream, my hand steady as I embarked on a new and hopefully final chapter. The blade glided smoothly over my skin, removing the hair that had long been a reminder of a version of myself that no longer fit. With each pass, a feeling of liberation blossomed within me, the sensation of shedding the old and revealing the authentic. When the task was complete, I lay there, admiring the sight of my smooth skin, feeling a sense of vulnerability and empowerment simultaneously. Taking a deep breath, I walked over to the dresser where I had laid out the pair of delicate lace white stockings. As I dried myself off with a soft, fluffy towel, I caught a glimpse of myself in the fogged up bathroom mirror. As I gently unfurled them as I had done before and slid them up my freshly shaven legs, a surge of emotion coursed through me. 
the stockings felt like a declaration of my true self, a bridge between who I was and who I longed to be. Heart pounding, I made my way to the living room where my boyfriend was waiting, unaware of the transformation I had undergone behind closed doors. His eyes met mine as I stepped slowly to stand before him, my heart thudding. He smiled. Taking in the sight of my freshly shaved and smooth skin and the delicate lace stockings that enveloped my legs and thighs. I stood there, my breath catching in my throat, searching for the right words to express what had been on my mind for so long. Hey, I began, my voice shaking slightly but filled with determination. There's something important I need to share with you. His gaze remained locked on mine, a mixture of concern and attentiveness in his eyes. I took a deep breath and continued, I've spent a lot of time soul-searching and reflecting on who I am. The person you see before you is who I've always been, but I've finally found the courage to be true to myself. I motioned to the lace stockings that adorned my legs, the visual representation of my journey. His brows furrowed slightly, his expression a blend of surprise and curiosity. I'm transgender, I said softly, my heart pounding in my chest as the words hung in the air between us. There was a moment of silence, during which his gaze never wavered. Then, slowly, a warm smile spread across his face. Yes, he said with a smile. You are a woman. You have always been a female. I looked up with happy tears in my eyes and nodded. We embraced. Male and female.